Nothing really challenged me work-wise yesterday or personally. I did go to the beach, did take my ambitious swim. It was a good swim. Had a good talk with uh, uh, Angela on the beach. And then I made, that. I made two new friends, a couple that moved into a house uh, uh, right there by the beach. Um, it's got a beautiful little apartment there. They're going to be there for a long time. They've got the best spot on the beach. And um, we talked. We had a nice talk. Met, made new friends. I'll see, I see them almost every day, but we'd never talked before. I wish them a happy new year. And they responded back. They said, do you swim every day? <laughs> and then that struck up the conversation. It's good to make friends in places, even though for me, I don't really keep friends for very long because I always move on. Had an interesting talk with Angela about that over the weekend on the beach. She couldn't understand why I would leave such a paradise as Huntington Beach. And uh, that's how we wound up, and one of the ways I wound up meeting the couple there because she was, because she, turns out she knew them. Uh, I see them almost every day when I walk back and forth. They're usually they're puttering around their front porch there, and I just kind of, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, morning if it's on the weekends. And Angela said, you could, Kurt, you don't have to leave Huntington Beach. It's just, you could get an apartment right here by the, right here by the, the, the sand and be swim every day. She said, um, and, and she was saying, that I like the couple that I know just over here at the Catholic place. I said, you know that you know them? Because I knew who she was talking about. Turns out, yeah, they know each other. And then when we were talking yesterday, there's the couple. I said, I said, I think we have a mutual friend in Angela. And they said, oh, yeah, Angela. We love Angela. So we have this little community. So what Angela was challenging me in a bit was to not leave, right? Um, because that's what unique when I do. We leave. We don't stay. And I told Angela, I said, it, to me, it's like staying in one community very long, even if it's a great community. It's like eating at one restaurant every weekend. You know, there's so many more and so much nothing after death. Eternal, etern an eternity of, of, of oblivion awaits. And sure, the connections are there, the human connections are there, but there's more connections to come. I mean, so uh, I, in Menifee, the one year, one year that we were there, um, I made connections with uh, a, a dog. I was it? I can't even. The names are starting to fade. Uh, the, the the old man down the street, the neighbors right next door, the people at the dog park that I saw regularly, uh, and you start to build these connections, right? These bonds. But then, if I'd stayed in Menifee, I wouldn't know Angela and the two new people yesterday, and Renee next door, and. Uh, Sam next door on this side, and Bob and and Laurel uh, down the way, or any of them. I mean, it's like you get to go and have these experiences all over again. And and, and some people I keep in touch with, some I don't. But after death, none of us are going to keep in touch. So why don't you move move on and have more experiences? So Angela Angela was, I think she was a little bit upset with me. You know that. Uh, well, we're friends. Right, and I think sometimes people take it that way that you know we leave and we're like we're leaving them behind, and we are. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Yeah, Yumiko and I uh, treasure our progression, the progression of experiences in life more than the more than the than the the, the individual friends that we make in any one place. Otherwise, we would have otherwise we would have stayed in uh, Santa Barbara. We have great friends in Santa Barbara. And uh, wonderful people. But, as Thoreau said, perhaps when he would ask why he left the woods at Walden Pond, he said, perhaps I left the woods for as good a reason as I went to them. Perhaps I had other lives to live and, and explore before this one life is done. Mm -hmm.